Oh, I'm a traveler Far from home I get lost But I'll praise on There's a mansion In streets of cold Where I belong Yes, there's a day Coming soon Where the old Will be brand new And heaven's glory Shines like a morning Before her eyes When we all About the church, it's so sad. We're doing the major of the Bible study, and I want to remember one of you saying, uh, when we're tithes offering, you want tithes and offering, yeah. And the Bible was the major offering, you guys stay uh, in the camera. To the major, he the wants you to send your tithes and offerings uh, in, right? Yeah, um. So I think it was a major offering. If you send them in and you send it into the church, do you write it out to Henderson General Baptist Church or do you write it out to Mitchell Hensley? Uh, yes, Mitchell Hensley. <laughs> Mitchell Hensley. Don't write yeah. it out to Mitchell so, Hensley. So I don't write it out to yeah. Mitchell Hensley. No, <laughs> write it out to HGBC or there's the <laughs> online option. Go ahead, Mitchell. I don't want them thinking okay. you're going to okay. be getting okay. it. Uh, so Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, I'm going to tie this offering. I think I'm going to go Bible study. Song three and nine. It says, "Bible study for who heard us about each church and a God of suffering." And it is a God of suffering. So I think you know God's brought us and a major Bible study. I think you know Bible was high suffering. Oh, this is your Bible order. study. Yeah. Okay. So I could, <clears throat> but tomorrow, 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 I'm just going to put this back and so can all the little guys. And so I wonder, uh, you up closer to the mic. And 
but make sure you try guys and you got for that and the church is very and just watch them with straight church watch group and you stop with straight church when we watch your class and it's a problem to your straight church when we watch straight church watch group you know God say only when time night absolutely You've been all over that tonight, Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, to, I got a I got a strain oh. on my shirt that's bothering me there. Yeah. Uh, on Sunday we will start mm -hmm. in July, which will actually be Fourth uh, of July for those here in the U.S. Actually, it will be the Fourth of July around the world, <laughs> but uh, we celebrate Fourth of July. Uh, so that service is uh, going to be about the breath of life. Uh, Mitchell, I want to go ahead and pull up the mm -hmm. those first verses again because last week we were supposed to go through the whole chapter 5 and we got wound up and we only made it through the first 8 verses. Mm -hmm. There's still about 13 more, 14 more verses that we need to get through and they're important. So uh, we're going to fly through these first eight verses uh, and I'm not going to get all wound up on them, Mitchell. Don't let me get wound up, okay? We're going to get to verses 9 through 21 uh, and they're important for us to see. There's some key things. Uh, so I, I want you to know that one day we're going to see Jesus face to face. And when we do, it is going to be a wonderful, wonderful moment uh, for those who have accepted Jesus into their life. Uh, mm. Mitchell, I'm going to move this back around to this style uh, because you're barely staying in frame. How are you just in the frame? Yeah, I want you fully in frame. See how you're all the way on there now. So go ahead, and Mitchell, if you would, lead us in prayer. Mm. Uh, for this Bible study devotion time on the great chapter in the Bible, Romans chapter 5, part 2. Uh, we're going to get through this, and it won't mm. take long. So strap on your seatbelt, uh, and let's go. Let's do it, yeah. Mitchell. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much today. Uh, I can't avoid that. No, uh, thank you, say when we did chapter 9, verse 5. No, I and I think it's all I made your Bible study that the Father says and know that it's helpful and God even knows that's what it is and we may pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Mitchell. Um you okay. said you wanted to read, uh, and yeah. what we're going to do is maybe we're going to start working a little bit that we can memorize one of the verses along the way so when you speak it it actually is what it's saying yeah. but what you say usually is really really good uh so let's get through verses one through eight okay yeah. therefore since we have been made right in god's sight by faith we have peace with god because of what jesus christ our lord has done for us again if you missed last wednesday uh, because it went all bonkers on me for, for Facebook, and it wouldn't go on at all. So hopefully it's on, but it will always be on YouTube also. Uh, as a side note, uh, it's important for you to know that because sometimes it's just not going to work, and it's not for lack of effort on my part. It just doesn't work. Uh, and um, because of that, uh, we got to know that it's going to be on Facebook and YouTube uh, each and every time. So, Mitchell, uh, <clears throat> therefore, since we, yeah. and you can go back. The whole point was, Mitchell, you can go back uh, mm -hmm. because what I want to do actually is let me, let me change something mm -hmm. on this <clears throat> so that way yeah. they can see what it is just in case. All right, so... Yes. One grand change to make your guys is, and this song we make sure I don't know the one grand change the guys is, and uh, I think on the chapter by the, uh, I think on the song for stopping him, and stop no longer to come to his eyes, you didn't have to, and and the first start I should not I could you see it's Christ you know, the power of him on that. And it's still gonna go full up on Absolutely. I did. Because you did? You, yeah, I do. Uh, so, but major Bible study, I, I think only when I was your time, it is solved for me, or the children not jersey. 
Vince Odor, Vince Odor, Vince Odor, Odor, and I, and, uh, um, but, gotta get us all, all moves out of just, just not point. I think you want to know his truth well. You gotta be looking in the camera. Why are you talking to me? Like, yeah. you're te- he's wanting to teach me the Bible study. How about I yeah. teach them the Bible study? But it's on uh, youtube.com backslash Chad Hensley, Jesus uh, follower. It's important Jesus. to always know that. You can also subscribe to that channel. Uh, I'm posting I'm posting the, the church, uh, the Sunday morning services, the, the Wednesday evening services. Uh, so it's there. Uh, yeah. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. We can rejoice, too, when we run into troubles and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us, because He has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with His love. Do you know how much God loves you. Take a deep breath and breathe that in. Breathe it in. One, two, three, deep breath. He loves you. Relax that and breathe that out and just know that He loves you. Circumstances of your life may say something different, but it's not true. The circumstances don't determine the direction of your life. They're trying to distract you from the destination of your life. The journey that you're on is to get to heaven and to see your Jesus and to see my Jesus. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Now, most people would not be willing to die for an upright person, though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good the bible then we finished last week and said but god showed his great love for us by sending christ to die for us while we were still sinners while you were lost while i was lost while everyone on this earth was lost jesus came and died on a cross for us Mm -hmm. when you look at it from that perspective the sacrifice of jesus on the cross paid it all he took the debt that you owed put it on his shoulders and he and he was sacrificed but he rose again to give us new life see it was those moments when you think i don't want god in my life those moments you stopped reading the bible those moments that you left him those moments you stopped praying to him those moments that you stopped doing the things that that you know you should as a christian as a follower as a family member in the mm. a child of God and yet he loves you so much that while you were doing the things you shouldn't do mm. he did the things that on the thing that only he could do so now we move on to verse 9 which we didn't get to last week yeah so And since we have been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. I want you to clearly see what has happened here. You are made right in God's sight, not because of who you are, not because of what you've done, not because of what you haven't done, not because you're perfect, not because you did all the right things, not because you think you didn't sin or that you gave money or you did all these things. You are made right in God's sight by the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah, That's it. That no, sacrifice of Jesus is what saves yeah. us. Do you believe in Jesus? Yeah. Do you believe he died on a cross for you? May I your cross? Did he die on a cross for you? Yeah. yeah. Did he <clears throat> did he rise again from the dead? Yep. Is he in heaven right now? Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you want to <clears throat> get baptized? No. No. <laughs> That's not I could as I was saying, um Mitchell only was high saying I could sacrifice. He did and make a sacrifice. I, I want so bad to me. baptize you, Mitchell. Why won't you let me baptize you? Everybody's seeing it right now. They know that you're saved. You can answer those questions. You can talk about it better than 90% of the people I know. 
We just said we don't get knocked. Why are you dude. getting out of the screen? Come back. Just come <clears> back. <throat> you afraid I'm going to, you think I'm going to lose you in the water? No, I see why I'm really trying to do it. Because you don't understand why I could. Just not. You got a bug on your ear. Oh. You want to uh, get baptized? No. Okay. You scared? No? Okay. Jesus told us to be baptized, didn't he? Didn't Jesus tell us to be baptized? He did. He said, go therefore into all the nations, baptizing them in the, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have done. So you're being taught all that you've been done, but you haven't been baptized, have you? No? All right. Maybe you haven't been baptized and you're ready to get baptized. Come on. Let's do this. Uh I, you you will be glad you followed that simple command. For since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son, while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. You, me, Mitchell, we all, we are saved through the life of Jesus Christ. What he did on that cross was for his enemies. That is very difficult for me to really grasp and understand. That is a difficult pill for me to swallow, if you will. Uh, it's very hard to grab the, the thought that I'm going to die for somebody who has treated me badly and do it on purpose for their well-being. Jesus did that for us. And because he did that for us, we have friendship with God. It was restored he restored our relationship with God. And you go, well, wait a minute. I didn't do anything to break that relationship. I didn't do anything to cause that relationship not to be there. Well, the Bible goes on and, and says, so now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. How are you going to rejoice in this friendship? And you may say that I've accepted Jesus Christ 50 years ago, 70 years ago, 80 years ago. I know a man named Morris Clayton who rejoiced in the Lord every single time I saw him, and he lived to be 97 years old. I mean... He'd been a Christian longer than, than I'd been alive. He was married longer than I've been alive. And when you think about this in and through their relationship that they had, it was a consistent rejoicing in God. Did that mean they didn't have problems? No. But he was always thankful to God in and through everything that I ever saw. So for you, for me, sometimes we lose sight of what it means to rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. The, the, uh, Paul wrote that in Philippians. And I see this idea of having joy in God, but the reality is, is that relationship. And here's the, here's, the, here's the thing that boggles my mind. What boggles my mind is, is that people don't harness the power of the relationship. So we can now rejoice in our wonderful new relationship. See, this relationship with God meant that He came and He did all the work. He provided all the barrier droppers. He did everything there was for you to even have that relationship. It it was brought forth by our Heavenly Father when Jesus Christ died on that cross. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was the ultimate that. sacrifice. Yeah. I'm and yet oftentimes we sit around with gloom, despair, and agony on me mentalities that we that we think, well, God doesn't care, He doesn't want anything, He doesn't He doesn't listen to my prayers, He doesn't answer my prayers. No, what happens is is we don't follow what God's word says. And we don't rejoice in the very fact that I'm on my way to heaven. This life is tough. The circumstances and situations of life are tough. The things of life can smack you and beat you down. We have something worthy of rejoicing. Our relationship with God. 
So, again, he brought us together with him. How did that work that we even needed to be brought together? It says, when Adam sinned, this is going all the way back to the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then it says that he, that he formed man from the dust of the earth. He breathed into him. And he became a living creature in this relationship with Adam and, and, and the woman Eve. And as they're in the garden, all these things that are happening, everything is perfect. There's no, there's no sin. There's no sorrow. There's no sadness. Everything is good. They, they walk with yeah. God. But it says when Adam sinned, sin entered the world. Adam's sin brought death, so death spread to everyone, for everyone sinned. See, the reality is, is we try to tell Adam and Eve, and we try to blame it and say, I wouldn't have done that. Yes, you would have. <laughs> you would have. You know why? Because that temptation was there, and that we've all fall short of the glory of God. We all have sinned. We all have done this. But that one man, Adam, he brought it in for the world. And because it's there, it's a part of who we are. And, and we, we are in this uh, needing a Savior. And there's some people who may click on right now and just so happen to be scrolling through and, and, and get on right now. And they go, well, I haven't done anything. I'm better than a lot of these Christians. You probably are. But the reality is, it's not how good you are compared to me. It's not how good you are to others in your church. It's about the, the holiness of a holy and righteous God who is perfect and sinless and spotless, who is holy, and he is holy other. And because he is holy other, there is no way you, me, anyone else on this earth is going to make it to him without the acceptance of Jesus Christ into our heart, into our life for what he did to bring back that restoration of the relationship. That relationship is what I rejoice in every day. And when I get down, I got to remind myself, I am a friend of the Most High God. Woo! Shouldn't you get excited about that? And yet so often we're not. And we wonder why are, why are so many churches closing their doors every year? Why are so few people showing up online or coming to the church buildings anymore? Why is it happening across the world this way? And yet we look around with gloom, despair, and agony sinking in our pit of despair and sorrow and sadness all the time and we don't elevate the reality of the relationship we have with Jesus Christ that relationship is something worthy of rejoicing every day that I wake up in the morning and I get up and I go first off I'm breathing I'm walking I'm talking I'm I'm doing this thing and maybe you say I can't do some of those things but here's where I'm going with it every single day I know that I go to sleep I rise from that bed and I wake up and I go hello my God is there with me that relationship with God is invaluable do you rejoice in it or do you sit around trying to figure out well what about Adam what about Eve why did they do this and I wouldn't have done that yes we would have and the fact is death is here sin is here and we have to deal with it but really, Jesus already did. See, the Bible goes on, and it reads, Yes, people sinned even before the law was given, but it was not counted as sin because there was not yet law to break. Still, any, everyone died from the time of Adam to the time of Moses, even those who did not disobey an explicit commandment of God. Um, no, I, I do, uh, I do want to know tonight, uh, and as the God will be able to go he's going to be here to stop him. Yes, and, oh, I, I uh, went to the wrong side. Yeah, I think there was a minute or two, and I saw this was in my step. I know, it, you stepped on it, I know, I pushed the wrong button because and, I wanted to yeah. make sure. 
Okay. So yes, even those who did not disobey an explicit commandment of God, and it's all weird. Such as Adam did. See, Adam was told something specific by God not to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And yet he did. These others, there was not the law, but the fact is they still did things. I mean, you think, for instance, when you look at Cain and Abel, there's no reason for that. And that was sin. What happened there? Now, Adam is a symbol, a representation of Christ who was yet to come. What? Let's read on. Oh, I... But there is a great difference between Adam's sin and God's gracious gift. For the sin of this one man... I did it again, Mitchell. Ready? Adam brought death to many, but even greater is God's wonderful grace and his gift of forgiveness to many through this man, Jesus Christ. When we see this and we understand this, what we see is is that death came through Adam to everyone. And yet, there is this wonderful gift that God has given us, and so many people are squandering that gift. They're skipping over it, and they don't see the grace of God, and they don't see that, yeah, one day I'm going to die, and they think, man, I'm just going to die, and that's it. I'll get my life together right before I do. There's no guarantee of that. Mm. So when we see this wonderful gift of grace God has given, it's because there is no relationship with God apart from Jesus Christ. People today get so bent out of shape and so hung up with that mentality that they say that and they say that that I'm judgmental or I'm narrow-minded. No, I'm just biblically oriented to what the Bible tells me. There's only one who died for me. His name is Jesus. There's only one who could take the punishment of my death, of my sin, of my shame, and put it on his shoulders, the perfect Jesus Christ. He is God and God alone. And the Bible says he is the way, the truth, the life. And no one comes to the Father except through him, Jesus. So I look at it and I understand the great, wonderful grace and gift of forgiveness that Jesus Christ gave. The Bible says, and the results of God's gracious gift is very different from the result of that one man's sin. For Adam's sin led to condemnation. Hmm. Judgment. Judgment? Yes. Judgment. Judgment is when you get told that you are wrong and you get sentenced. And your sentence is not just death from this earth, but it's life and eternal hell. A total separation from God. Total separation from God. And as much as some people think that they don't feel God today or right now in their life, in their everyday walk, it's it's amazing Mm -hmm. what it would feel like to know that he was completely away. The Bible says, but God's free gift leads to our being made right with God. How am I right with God? Through this gift, this mm-hmm. gift that come through Jesus. Even though we are guilty of many sins, you are, I am. Have you ever done anything wrong? Yeah. Have you ever been in trouble? No. Yes, you have. I mean, you, you, I don't. You're not in trouble now. Oh, I know. He says, now I'm an adult. Now I'm an adult. That's not point. I mean, that's what I to do, but it's not. It's what I did. You're an adult now, so you can't get in yeah. trouble. Is that what you're saying? No, I just want to do. I think we try my two guys. I, I, I was two, um, and I was telling him for the point that for it's all for a guy. For all right, we gotta finish, this up. We gotta got we got to finish this up. We got to finish this up. You got you. The, He's got yeah. you. You yeah, got me. He's got you. All yeah. right, all right. So, for the, the sin of this one man, Adam, caused death to uh, rule over many. But even greater is God's wonderful grace and his gift of grace, of of his righteousness. 
So as we look at this, the the results of all of this is so important because for all who receive it will live in triumph over sin and death through this one man, Jesus Christ. Triumph, victory, winning over (laughs) sin. There is no sin on the face of this planet that you have to commit. It's a choice. You have victory over that sin. You have victory over your shame. You have victory over this. Does that mean that I never sin? No, I do stupid stuff sometimes. Call it what it is. Yeah, I mean. I'm and whenever not. I do, I have yeah. to apologize. Sometimes I don't. I don't. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. You got to I mean, say. It, yeah. It is, I mean, we have been taught Mitchell. We talk about both sides. You came with God, and and I, was, I think I'm going to read chapter. Uh, read that. We're in chapter 5. You want to read it? Yeah. All right, there it is. Yes, Adam's one sin brings condemnation for everyone. Why is he God? Yep. His but Christ's one Christ act of righteousness and brings a right hey. relationship with God. We with God. And new and life for everyone. And new life for everyone. New everyone. Yes, I want you to see this new mm. life. This new life that everything doesn't have to be gloom and despair. Sometimes you can smile. Sometimes you can laugh. You can always rejoice in your relationship to know that you don't deserve it. You don't deserve God. You don't deserve Jesus. You don't deserve His love. You don't deserve His grace. You don't deserve His mercy. You don't deserve His forgiveness. You don't deserve to be righteous in the sight of God. But what we have here is we have this right relationship with God. Rejoice in that. Come on. When we look at life, we have the ultimate. You are a child of God when you accept Jesus Christ into your life. And because you are a child of God, you are in right relationship with God. Meaning you have a relationship with the king of kings he's not something just way out there somewhere in the oblivion and way up in the sky he is in my life every day so because of that you have this one act that christ did brings you into right relationship with god and it's this is new life This chapter ends and says, Because one person disobeyed God, many became sinners. But because one other person obeyed God, many will be made righteous. God's law was given so that all people could see how sinful they were. That's a key phrase. Yeah, that's true. If you can't see that you're a sinful person in need of help, then you're in trouble. Yeah, that's good. That is yeah, good. Yeah, she is. That is good. It actually is. Uh, but <laughs> so you're, you're okay. cracking me up tonight, okay. man. All right, you're going to crowd out. Okay, okay well. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's all that is good. Okay. I know, I know. And because of that, it is important for Mitchell to know, for me to know, for you to know how great his love is that we have this right relationship with him. With him. But as people sinned more and more, God's wonderful grace became more abundant. Just as sin ruled over all people and brought them to death, now God's wonderful grace rules instead, giving us right standing with God and resulting in eternal life through Christ our Lord. (laughs) Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Here's what I want you to know. We don't keep on sinning just because we know God's grace covers us. We don't keep on sinning because we know he's going to forgive us. We don't keep on sinning because of his because we know he has mercy. We do not keep on sinning because we think, well, I'm already right, so it doesn't matter. I can do whatever I want. We don't do that because that's not how relationship works. Yeah, and if you haven't that. rejoiced in your relationship with God today, if you haven't sent out a shout out to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, whether it's at in your own place by yourself, you get on Twitter, you get on Facebook, you get on uh, YouTube, you get on Snapchat, you get on uh, Instagram, and you say a big old loud, I love Jesus. I am so thankful for the relationship God has given me of himself. I am a child of God.
Yeah. Was and because of that, you have right standing, not because of you, not because you deserve it. Yeah. But because of exactly. him. So this, this, I was going to say this morning, I mean. Uh, talk about money? Yeah, the sun's getting ready to go down here in a couple of hours. It's not yeah, morning. It, it, but maybe yeah, but you're no. watching it tomorrow morning instead of tonight. So um, uh. if we could, Mitchell. Let us end in prayer, and I want you to pray that we all rejoice in the Lord, okay? I want you to tell them to rejoice, be joyful yeah. of, with God, have fun, be happy in God. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, tell good. them to be happy in God. Yeah. All right, go ahead and end in prayer. Lord, uh, thank you for saying so about us, and Lord, I thank you for saying so much about us, and Lord, um, Absolutely, staying like uh, no. I thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you so much. Just so excited. I mean, just so grateful. Um, that major job out of study, and we all change that. And I know I was still fair. And thank you so much, and I. It was so sad. It was so sad. And uh, I think I'm gonna wonder. Uh, no, it was gonna be enough for me. Amen. Thank you very much, Mitchell. Yeah. Go enjoy the rest of your evening. Make sure you take that discipleship call uh, from tonight and go do something with it. Rejoice in the Lord in your relationship. And if you haven't been rejoicing, take this moment to say, God, help me to rejoice more in you and stop looking at the circumstances of my life. Tell him, see you later. Tell him, say, see you All later. Right. I saw you doing it. Thank you so much for doing Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. You doing that? I'm gonna pop up Sunday, and I saw on the 49. But they're doing on YouTube. They're on one channel, and it's so sad. It's so sad. It's tomorrow night. It's so sad. And when you hear me talk, right? He's got it. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you when you wake